Today, we're gonna become Bob the Builder. I got my tools here. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all did it once again. 200,000 subscribers! First and foremost, thanks to God. You guys have been asking for my penthouse tutorial since like forever ago. Literally since I moved in. This video is going to be super duper detailed. It might be a little long, but I hope you don't mind. You know, good things take time. Stick around to find out how to build your very own dream penthouse! This video includes my penthouse layout, how to build this kitchen, this beautiful living room, my office, pantry, storage room, elevator, guest bedroom, guest bathroom, my bedroom, my master bathroom, my closet, gym room, my laundry room, and my very own rooftop garden. So if you're curious in how to build my dream penthouse, keep watching. The game passes you will be needing are Transform Plus, Multiple Floors, Advanced Placing, large plot and the color wheel one you don't really need the color wheel or the large plot are you guys ready to see the outside of my apartment <laughs> let's knock on my neighbor's door oh my god hi neighbor as y'all can probably tell this is my apartment from the outside is it really a surprise though? I feel like I've done this like you could definitely build around it. It is very much doable. But I don't want to be spending 10,000 years on that. <laughs> I'm not an architect. Um, so I don't really know how that would work out. But if you're curious of how the outside of my apartment looks like, mm -hmm, yeah. Don't come after me, y'all. Don't. I know. <gasps> Oh, it's an embarrassment, I know. This is a bird's eye view of my apartment and the whole entire 50 by 50 plot. I added like this little... I wanted to recreate Central Park here from like New York. That does not look like Central Park. <laughs> but you know, from the view from my apartment, it kind of... Yeah. This is the layout of my apartment. This is my second day of recording this video and I just got a comment saying, Now 201,000. And you still haven't posted a penthouse layout. <laughs> These videos take time, y'all. And this penthouse did not take me one day to build, honestly. You guys wanna know why the video is still not up that I'm currently recording right now? Cause it is little fit. Say hi, Molly. Say, I have no reason why you guys haven't seen the video in two days. So if you wanna blame someone? Blame <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alrighty, we're starting off with a brand new fresh plant. <laughs> Let's begin with the easiest thing, which is the layout. My apartment is on the third floor, so we're gonna go three levels up. One, two, three. Listen up closely, y'all. Don't get distracted. Go to build. Go to walls. And I do have the 50 by 50 plot. You don't need it, though. And you're going to build a wall that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then from there, you're just going to do three tiles down. And another three that connect over here. And then you're just going to do another seven tile. I'm going to call them tiles, y'all. By the way, this is just the hallway. So you don't really have to build it if you don't want to. But this seven by tile wall is going to be like the front of the house. So you definitely do want to build this one. Let's start off by building the first first guest room so from here you're gonna do four tiles and then you're gonna do another four tiles up and then this is where it starts to change a little bit you're gonna do three tiles to the left you're gonna bring it down two tiles and then another one tile to the left and then two tiles down this will be your guest bedroom for your guest bathroom you're just gonna do a three by three so three tiles to the right three tiles down and three tiles to the left that will be your guest bathroom feel free to change anything you guys want remember this is not limited to anything right above your guest room there is going to be an office we're gonna do three tiles up from this office you're gonna build one tile down to start off here and build one tile to the left and then one tile up and leave it like this for now it may look a little weird and funky but this is really a trust the process moment <laughs> For the rest of the apartment this is going to include the living room and kitchen five tiles up two three five you're gonna do like a little slanted tiles which is just gonna be two tiles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen tiles to the right you're gonna bring it down one two three four five tiles down one tile to the right and then nine tiles down five six seven eight nine should line up with the front of the apartment let's start off with the inside of the layout which this includes the pantry laundry room and storage and elevator room for the hallways you're gonna make sure you're gonna have a three so count one two three tiles to the left and from there you're gonna build one two three tiles up and then two more up from there, build two tiles to the left, two tiles down, and two tiles to the right. Here, you're just gonna go three tiles down. You start off up here, you're gonna go three tiles to the left, 
five tiles down and that's going to be your laundry room the bottom left right here and you're gonna go one tile up then at the bottom right right here you're gonna go one tile up you're going to skip one tile you're gonna start at the third tile going one up five tiles to the right and then one tile down and that will be your pantry area and you guys start to see like the apartment starting to form it's a little weird right now but just trust the process y'all so after you build this you're gonna start all the way up here at the top left corner you're gonna extend this wall to four tiles to the right my bad to the left five tiles down four tiles to the right oh right here at the bottom left corner one tile four tiles to the left four tiles down four tiles to the right from here you're gonna connect three tiles up this is going to be your bathroom your master closet you're just gonna start off at the bottom right corner of your bathroom one tile down five tiles to the right we're almost done here this is going to be your gym room anything you ever wanted to add in this room you can definitely add it here because i still haven't added anything to this room because i just don't know what to add here that's very simple all you're gonna do is five tiles down and five tiles tiles to the right and there you go ladies and gentlemen this is my official layout of my dream penthouse obviously you could do some little tweaks over here and tweaks over there but if you want it to be exactly like mine i would suggest to keep watching because i'm going to show you exactly how to do the flooring wall colors wall trim some wall details and the doors finally ready to start the floor and the wall colors and stuff like that simply because the floors are custom colors go ahead and go to build floor this little triangle here will mess up your entire floor so first do this little triangle and then from here you are more than welcome to do the entire rest of the floor which would be simply there we have our floor now the floor color is b6a798 if you don't have that floor like color you could just always use linen beige or hurricane gray it looks really good too it's the same color just different material the material is called wood deck tiles let's head over to the wall color now click on your paint button here and click on a wall and the color i use for the walls is none other than white i know in my last apartment i used a like, grayish darkish white because i didn't want it to be too white if you do use white lighting though it will reflect off the paint and it's gonna make your house slash apartment look super duper bright but if that's how you like it then by all means go off personally me though i love more like warm tones and something that looks more cozier so therefore i am not gonna be using white lights but rather like yellow light warm color lights Alrighty, now for the exterior of my apartment's walls i don't know if you guys can tell i have these like tile whitish walls click on your paint palette click on a wall go to materials and find ice blocks i did use a custom color which is f e f f f f and that gives you this beautiful exterior repeat that process all around the apartment this can be turned into a house super easily as well now the interior walls of the entrance the color dark stone gray and concrete if you've done everything correctly your penthouse should be looking exactly like this but don't be afraid to make different changes you can obviously paint the walls different colors and again i always encourage you guys to do something of your own do not be afraid to use colors that you like because i use all white doesn't mean you have to but if that's what you like as well then that's totally okay this apartment and these builds are for you guys to explore your creativity unleash your own imagination you know the, the, was that the two other words isn't it creativity or is it imagination who the freak no righty then let's get to the phone port next up the windows i've gotten so many comments of you guys telling me how do you build these windows and i'm here to answer that today to be honest i don't even know how i built them it does take a lot of patience you're gonna go to floor build like a cute thingy like that okay you're gonna go to windows scroll down until you find simple framed window place one down mm -hmm, this is where it's going to get expensive you're gonna go ahead and resize yours to 11.5 going up right here it shows you these little numbers whenever you like move it the width is going to be around 7.5 so it basically takes up two tiles but it has enough space you know you can recolor them i like to recolor mine black and then leave that middle part this in the color fossil the outline of the frame of the window this is a process be patient with it all right if you build it correctly you should be able to grab it and go go to basic shapes grab a cube you say right in the middle you're going to size it down to 0.5 now the width 
7.6. Now you're going to resize it one more time down the middle, which will be 0.85. And just like that, you have your foundation, your base. Now go ahead and duplicate this one and put it right on top of it. You're going to resize it all the way in the middle and flatten it out and just leave it like this. From here, you're going to go up 8.6. We're going to resize it just a little bit, a little bit. So make a little bit of an indent. It should look exactly like this. So you're going to resize that to 0.75. Now duplicate your bottom foundation piece and put it right on top delete that stick resize it and flatten it all the way and bring it up to about 0.55 duplicate this one and put it right here that little space was and this one you're just gonna flatten it out like from the top now duplicate this cube and put it right here now for the sides of the window you're going to grab duplicate this one that is highlighted in orange one more time and now put it all the way at the bottom transform it all the way it is in the middle resize it to about to about seven resize it one more time to 0 0.25 now grab this exact same cube that you just did you're going to resize it all the way to the smallest cube possible kind of try to connect it resize it to and then just resize it to match the bottom cube that so it'll be 0 0.6 and then drag it all the way to the top just resize it to about 11 duplicate that exact same cube on the other side and before you continue anymore make sure that you can pick up all of this with one click because if you can't then you're gonna stay there for hours now grab this middle cube place it on top of it resize it all the way to a little stick and then you're gonna come over here and put it right there resize it to about 0 0.5 and then resize it one more time going up to about 1.55 duplicate it on the other side and then put one in the middle resize it all the way down and extend it all the way till you meet both of those little pillars that we just made grab your transform tool and put it all the way to the top duplicate the one that we just made once again extend it all the way till there's no more empty spaces so by the width by the way the width is 0 0.25 and then finish it off by going all the way up to 0.3 this is what you should have so far you right here highlighted in orange duplicate it resize it right here just like make like little frames once you resized it make sure to push it in a little bit around negative 0.09 do the exact same thing on the other side and then copy it on this side as well 0.14 duplicate it once again delete the pillars like little sticks put it on top bring it down make sure it's in the center and then bring it all the way up almost done you guys you made it this far keep going you're gonna go to structural find this standard round rod you're gonna grab the small round rod okay it has to be small once you grab it go to custom yours should be all white i decided to color mine white and red to make it easier for your guys's eyes to see because when i was building this i was like what the heck but grab your small round rod and right here where the red part is all of the red part you're just gonna create another little frame so it should look something like this paint it black go to duplicate and then duplicate that same rod and do it to the other parts where the red part is at try to keep it in the center by the way it does not have to be perfect <laughs> Now, the last thing you're just gonna do is replicate the rod one more time. Make a little rod right here in the middle. You're gonna paint it gold. I have mine the color beige. You're gonna transform it up to where the red part is at. And at the end, if you did all of that correctly, you should be able to click on it and boom, you have your own window that you can just grab and go to your apartment and place it right on top of it. Your window should be resized to 11.25. Place it in the middle of the two tiles and then place your frame over it and then boom you have your very own window framed and it looks so good so i'm going to duplicate my window six more times so start off by placing one window two three four five six this is how your apartment should be looking like so far as of now with the six windows you're going to duplicate that exact same window on this little corner over here which is going to be one and two just like that grab your window frame just plop them right into their place now that your living room is looking a little like this you are on the right track go to build doors and go to these frame sliding double doors and grab these simple frame sliding double doors and put it right here just color them all white i like to add a little beige to my door handles so i recolor those like that and the same thing you did with the windows like the frames you would do it with the door if you want to that's completely optional i personally don't think it makes a big difference but what i would suggest though is grabbing the door frame and fixing the height placement so it looks more like a window instead of a door we have no balance
balcony to step into if now we're literally just gonna fall straight into central park <laughs> I have these two pillars right on the side of those walls and you can easily find them by build pillars and choosing these fancy pillars they are a little pricey but I find them super cute and recolor those the same color as the wall I also like to place these little vents around my apartment to make it a little bit more realistic decorations all and going to these basic vents choosing the basic floor vent I'm putting it right next to the pillar and recoloring it white for the windows in the bedroom I did the exact same thing I did the two by two tiles so here and then one right here placed another one right here and the last one obviously here i grabbed the exact same window frame that we made so cool that you get to customize your own windows and make them more realistic the bathroom also does have a window so again grab the exact same window sit down duplicate the exact same frame and then your window frame and i just lost some money i gotta go make some more money <laughs> one window in the office two windows in like the gym room and then lastly, two more windows in the guest bedroom. Now that you have placed all of your beautiful windows, your penthouse should be looking a little like this. And if I were to leave mine like this, it would look okay, right? But I like to go the extra mile and add this type of like detail on the wall. And trust me, it can take a lot of time to get this doing it one by one. But I'm not gonna be doing that. And if I'm not gonna be doing that, you're not gonna be doing that. And I present to you guys my little DIY wall like art thingy by doing this you are able to create something that you can duplicate over and over again making it so much easier for you so simply go to basic shapes grab a cube place it down resize it by first flattening it all out and it should be at 0 0.25 which is the default and then from there just bring it up to around 12 which is how tall your walls are go to build go to structural standard rod and you're going to grab instead of the small rod you're gonna grab the standard one and from here you're just gonna make these cubes like this like a little frame leave some space at the top though and do a smaller little cube at the bottom again leaving some space now take a small round rod and put it right in the middle of these two cubes one little like, fat line on the top and one at the bottom as well use that same small rod to go inside of the frame you did beforehand and if yours is not centered please make sure to center it before you add the middle one because you do want to take your time on this since you are going to be duplicating this is going to be all around your walls i suggest that you take the time to make it perfect as perfect as possible once you're done with that color everything white or the color of your walls and you should have something like this i'm I'm going to go with the one that I took my time with show you guys exactly how to place them inside your apartment you're gonna want to duplicate your little thing you made and put it right in the middle of your windows use your transform tool to center it and once you're done centering it you're just gonna push it into the wall until the gray color disappears just like that make sure you center it and since you duplicated it you saved yourself so much time of having to do this individually that would have sucked and then just make sure to fill up the rest of your walls with this little cute design if you like to add these arched wall things that i have here you're going to you're gonna grab a cube place it in the middle of these two walls and then drag it to your left you're gonna resize it to the same size as the wall and bring it up all the way to the wall so like they can both be the same size which would be 11.95 delete this wall and delete that one grab this and put it right there color white extend it until about 2.7 plain arch and i'm going to use the plain high arch Arch. Place them right there. Transform it if you need to by moving it around. The good thing about this is you can transform the walls more so there's no space left in between of the arch and the wall. You definitely want to combine both of those so it looks like that. Another important thing that I forgot to mention is wall trim. So you're going to go to wall trim, choose the flat board base, baseboard, color as your wall, and then paste that all around your walls all around i've seen so many of you guys telling me how do you build these beautiful boards which thank you i actually found this hack on tiktok i don't know who created it but credits to them essentially you just gotta go to build doors you're going to grab this plain door frame obviously color the exact same color as your wall now you're gonna go to fences and you're going to grab this modern panel fence 
put it right there color it all white it doesn't really matter you won't be able to see it fence gates and find this modern panel gate and it should look a little like this you're going to grab your door frame and resize it up to 9.25 recolor the fence gate white or any other color you want and change the materials to smooth plastic and that's how you create that beautiful door. I've seen so many people on TikTok do this before and I was like, how do you create that door? And then one day I found out. You're going to just repeat that process on all of these doors. Another question I also got was how to create like these cube things at the top. And that adds, in my eyes, a lot of realism to my apartment. And it's super easy to do. Grab another cube. Cubes really come in clutch, y'all. Resize it to any size you want. Literally, this can be anything because it's so random. You never really know. Color it white. Grab the basic wall vent size mine to 1.05 then we're gonna grab my vents and put them here i like to put them on. really just in random places it does not have to be perfect recolor them go to electronics and grab your electrical outlets and put those well place them in random places they do not have to be exactly the same use your transform tool to put them all the way up in the roof it just adds so much realism i love it this is the one that i have in my room next to the one outside now it's officially time for <laughs> get straight into it we cannot waste any second first off how to decorate my entrance a rug a plant a key holder type thing umbrellas and a rack holder this is how i decorated my storage room of course which is going to be totally different if you want but if you want to take some inspiration feel free to do so i then added an elevator for my guest bedroom i added nothing but again run freely with your creativity and fill this up and make sure if you do end up building this apartment and decorating the guest bedroom tag me in your posts whether on instagram which could be at icon and cloud or tiktok at icon and cloud or even youtube at icon and cloud so i can see them and like them and comment on your posts and see your guys's beautiful creativity for the guest bathroom again nothing now my office a cork board some details on the wall I made this with a basic cubes, a desk, some keys, a mouse pad, and a calculator, papers, clipboards, folders, a computer, a desk chair, a rug, my first chair, another chair. I replaced the pillows with green pillows. I add a blanket on one of them. And then with this wall, I do the same details I did on the other wall. Now my living room. Add an indent in the wall, Polaroids, a cute basket, another potted plant, a radio, a couch, mirror, a triangular like coffee table. Then I start to build my couch slash sofa by adding pillows around it to make it look extra comfier. And almost like a cloud couch, but obviously Bloxburg doesn't have a cloud couch yet. Another coffee table with a remote control, a coffee cup, a rug, coffee table, and then a TV table, stand thingy, whatever you want to call these. I add LED lights here. So decorations books a polaroid soundboard projector i make this frame for my projector but i add a poster of netflix and that's pretty much it for my entire living room don't forget your paint here at the door this is my advice to fill up some space is by adding a bookshelf coffee table plants plants make everything just look so much better and it adds so much color especially right now it matches the season since we are in spring like a little workout set area now how to build my kitchen and decorate it all i did was add some wallpaper marble wallpaper some cabinets and the cabinets the color i didn't really like them so i added a basic cube and recolored that basic cube and added in front of the cabinet and I made my own custom island, added appliances and decorations. <laughs> essentially just a light up led mirror that i've made the lights glow pink a rug this is how my pantry looks very self-explanatory this is probably one of the easiest things to build it's just cabinets and appliances and these you do have to buy with blocks books but they are so worth it because they look so cute and i have yet still stocked up my beverage fridge literally what the freaks now for my bedroom some lights my projector screen which is custom made then i made my custom bed frame and added blankets on top of it it looks so cozy 
cozy that I want to sleep here in real life, like literally. Added bookshelves and more decals, a nightstand, pillows at the bottom, just to try to make my room really look cozy and added things that represent me, like my phone, this heart-shaped lamp that I found and fell in love with. Adding slippers, obviously a dresser. Moving on to my vanity place, because of course she needs to have a vanity. Like, why would I not have a vanity? Added some decorations on top of it, more plants, more decorations, more potted plants. Like I said, plants make such a big difference. And since she is a content creator in the role play, obviously I had to add a tripod. I had to decorate my bathroom. My bathroom with some wallpaper, marble, exactly the same as the kitchen. Added walls and added windows inside those walls. Decorated the inside of my shower. Added some beautiful decals, a toilet, a bathtub, and another potted plant. I then moved on to my sink area and I made it only one. Added mirrors, plants, hand towels, and then added some storage space here with basic cubes and decided to decorate a little bit moving on to my closet how i decorated that was by adding some shelves and making these basic cube wardrobe with led lights just to add some futuristic like, feeling to it i it was very spacious but now with all of this like extra storage spaces it looks very crammed but in a nice way you know and my closet is far from being done i still need to add so much clothing because i barely even added any Anything. I really only added like a couple pieces of clothes, which is so embarrassing, but and this is the finished product of my closet I love it so much and so much more work needs to be done now for my laundry room I added more wallpaper from the kitchen added cabinets little storage spaces on top of those cabinets and LED lights to make it stand out a rug more cabinets a sink my wash and dryer Obviously added some napkins that look like dryer sheets on top of it some laundry detergent to make it realistic looking an iron socks and make it look dirty like it's being in use and my latest addition has been this laundry basket which i am obsessed with it looks so good some of you guys may be wondering about my lights these are not just any typical light i made those by going to basic shape grabbing this cube this tutorial was on my kitchen video but i'm going to do another quick little one making it as small as possible going to lighting and choosing these landscape lighting coloring them all white and changing this white color to light stone gray and then from there i use my transform tool to just turn it around and then i dragged it up to the ceiling and then and that's how i got my light ceiling thingy there lastly my rooftop garden is super simple to build as well just this literally it's not too much or something to go crazy over pretty sure i just went over all the rooms and if you still have any questions please don't be afraid to ask me down in the comments below that's pretty much it you guys for today's tutorial on how to build your very own dream pet house Love you guys all so much and I'm so sorry it's taking me so long to get this video out. It's just simply because apartment in real life it took me four days to build. So it was an overnight process, y'all. I'm really excited to see your guys' creations. I saw last time you guys were posting them on TikTok and I was so happy to see that. And I just was amazed by the way you guys built your own and added your own unique styles into them. And some you actually recreated the whole entire thing exactly. And it was just beautiful to see that you guys actually do watch these videos. So thank you so much for supporting me. I love you guys all. I made sure to like all of them at least the ones that i saw on my for you page or on my tiktok feed other than that make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms they will all be linked down in the description below i love you guys all so much please consider subscribing it is totally free let's get to what, 1 million ah uh, imagine now nah. if i actually were to reach a million subscribers that's crazy because like what the heck give this video a big thumbs up it helps out the channel a lot commenting down below what's your favorite part of today's video sharing this video with anyone you know or think may enjoy these types of videos turn on those post notifications on so you never miss a video like this and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one remember i love you guys so much and god loves you so much bye clouds you guys want to know how long this video took to film four hours to film i wonder how long this video is probably like 40 minutes 30 minutes who knows i'll be waiting for you in the next one i think i'm gonna go take a nap now <gasps> well, i became bob the builder today the day i became bob the builder